All right, you guys, back here with another video today. And today we're talking about how do we get over times where we're just discouraged or just disappointed. Like for me, I had like a really long week last week. So much stuff happened. Like my tire blew out. Someone broke into my car in DC, knocked some of my windows out. You know, just the usual people just ask me for more than what I'm able to offer them and what I'm able to actually do for them and getting nothing in return. And just overall just feeling discouraged about just so many other various things. And I'm just like, man, like it just feels like too much. I just don't want to keep going. I don't want to take the next step. And I've kind of been like in a little bit of a rut. So, you know, it's, I found myself trying to do the things I talked about before of getting out of a rut. And it, while it does help at times, I've had blockers to stop me from doing that. So I just kind of just been in a little bit of a lull, a little bit of a slump and kind of just see myself just overanalyzing stuff that I do and just being upset that I'm not where I want to be, right? So that led to me, you know, not doing some of the stuff I wanted to do last week, like finishing some stuff at work or putting out my YouTube videos on time like I'm supposed to so that you guys can see them. And just overall just feeling like I can keep moving on and progressing and getting 1% better like the mentality I normally have. You know, today kind of really just hit me really hard with all these things, just thinking about them. But all of, them, all of these things came to me and I thought about something my therapist said earlier this week. You know, he wants me to take these and think these things as temporary, not the things that's reoccurring. And that is the truth. It's really important to think about those things because my car getting broken into, tire messing up are not things that are going to consistently and reoccurringly happen. So it's not something I have to budget into my list of bad things that are going to reoccur, you know. But the things that will reoccur is, you know, me creating my content for myself, me creating this YouTube channel and creating these videos to put out on YouTube and continuously get myself in front of the camera, you know, doing my photography work and doing my photography jobs and doing various different goals to set myself up to be where I want to be in life, like paying off my student loans in the next year and various other different things. So I'm just here to say that um, essentially, you know, people have bad days, bad weeks, bad months, but you know, tough times don't last, tough people do. So, you know, if you feel yourself in a rut, if you're in the DMV area, it's like 70 degrees today. So I definitely recommend going outside, getting some nice serotonin, getting some sun, albeit cloudy, but just get some fresh air, get some of that natural light in, just get some fresh air in your system. Just be able to just jumpstart yourself. And just try to do like two or three things today. Like you really don't have to do too much. You don't have to go big and beyond what you want to do. You don't really have to go into your list and find the most challenging things to get them done. Just find two or three simple tasks to do and just get them done. Just knock them off your list. You know, the more you start to build up that routine to snowball that information, to snowball those tasks, then you'll start to get that motivation back. You'll start to realize that, okay, I can do this. And also I'm getting stuff done at the same time. So you'll have yourself a double level of motivation to be able to get you to get up, get out the bed, keep getting motivated, get up, do this YouTube video <laughs> and so on and so forth. Um, I know for myself, I do want to kick myself back into gear because I feel like I've let myself be in a lull for a little bit too long and I was starting to make some progress and get to where I want to get to. So I'm going to follow my own advice by, you know, doing a couple things today, a couple things tomorrow, Sunday, going into Thanksgiving break next week, which is going to be really nice because I have two days off. So next week, I definitely plan on catching up with content. So I'm probably going to drop like eight to 10 videos in the next 10 to 15 days. Like I'm about to get really ratcheted up with this and then my hope is to then get to the point where I start incorporating more b-roll and side clips and other stuff in these videos so it's not just a talking heavy the whole time that was my plan originally from the jump but I really wanted to get these videos out get the content out and really build that community first before I start spending way more time into getting b-roll clips and doing all that other stuff because of the fact that it does take a lot of time to go grab that stuff and put it in here and I don't want to consistently use and reuse the same clips. So I have to try to find fresh ideas every time and it'd be a little bit challenging when I already don't have the audience that I need to have yet to really make sense of this. Um, but essentially I want to probably start doing that either way. So good news for that, it's more to come for that. I had some short films I was going to do, like I said, the discouragement, really just put them on the back burner, but really need to finish putting pen to paper and organizing my thoughts and ideas and putting those ideas to life so that way I can put them on the screen so that everyone can view them. Um, but that's soon to come as well. But yeah, I'm just kind of like in the point of, you know, it's Q4, we're going into the winter season, coming up on Christmas. Not really a big feelings or holiday person, but I really do enjoy Christmas. So this is a chance for me to really get myself back in the spirit before I start doing donations and 
food drives and stuff like that and put them some focus on there. So I really want to put this value out to you guys, really want to help you guys get to that next step. I hope you guys get projects done, get yourself more attention for whatever your work is that you're trying to display for your creative passion because I want everybody to eat. I want to eat. I want all my community to eat, my future community. I want you guys to eat. I want everybody to be able to be successful or find some level of success in what they're doing creatively and be able to share that with one another. You know, don't just keep that creative aspiration or just create that creative joy for yourself. You know, you do something great, you're doing something good, you know, share it with me, share it with the community and vice versa, right? But that's pretty much everything I have for you today for my TED Talk. You know, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to a video like this one and other ones that are coming in the future. But until next time, guys, good to see you again. Peace.